to create a price slider with interactive and adjustable pricing. First, you'll need to drag the following component onto an empty prototype screen. A rectangle and an ellipse that will be the slider bar and the slider icon. Put both inside a dynamic panel resized as in the example. Four images which will represent the desired house size. Two text boxes named right num and left num with the corresponding values. Customize the rest of the screen as desired. Now it's time to add interaction to your prototype. Click on the slider icon and add an on drag and move event. Select the slider icon from the outline tab. Set the left movement to with cursor and the top to current so the vertical position remains fixed when dragging the slider icon. Check the constrain with parent container. Add an on drag and insert into action after the event you have just created. Select the slider icon as the component to insert into another and the panel one from within the dynamic panel as the component you want to insert it into. Change the link in between these two events to with previous. Now add an on drag and set value event. Select the left num text box and set the value as calculated. In the Expression Builder, drag the round function, and then the slider icon, changing its value to pause x relative. Then drag the division function, the panel one, changing its value to width, the minus function, and the slider icon, changing its value to width. Next, drag the multiply function and type the number 1000 into the next position. Last, type the number zero. This expression will ensure that the price slider can move across the slider bar and that the corresponding value will change as necessary. The zero and the round function will make the number rounded and with no decimals. Now we will add events to ensure that the images change depending on where the slider icon is positioned. Add an on drag and show event. Selecting the first image on the right. Select the add condition option and build an expression with the left num text box. The greater or equals to function, the number zero, the and function, the left num text box, the less or equals to function, and the number three hundredths. This expression will ensure that as the slider icon moves between the values zero and three hundredths, only the first image on the left will appear. Select the else option and add an on drag and hide event. Repeat the on drag and show slash hide events for the remaining images. Remember to change the image you want to show and hide each time and the values in the expressions. And that's it. Click Simulate to view and interact with your prototype. Drag the thumb icon left and right across the slider bar to see the numbers increase and decrease in value and the images change depending on that value.